Hello and welcome to a new episode. Today I have a special setting. Two guests, two pumps. We will answer the question, which pump is the best for your application? My name is Fabian, have fun. Today my guests are Michael and the Stratos Maxo and Andre and the Jonas Maxo. Michael, two pumps for the same application. Why? Stratos Maxo, our first smart pump, for example, is the right choice if the integration in building automation system is required. Mm -hmm. Smart pump sounds great, but uh, what does it mean? Under the meaning of smart pump, we understand a new category of pump technology, mm -hmm. which go fast beyond our high efficiency pumps or pumps with pump intelligent. Latest sensor technology and new innovative control functions, mm -hmm. flexible connectivity, updating through software updates and comfortable usability makes a pump a smart pump. Okay. When we take a look at the big buildings, um, is it possible that we integrate um, our Stratos Maxo in an uh, energy management system? The integration can take place in different ways depending on the BMS requirements. With Stratos Maxo we have now several opportunities for the integration in such system. Several SIF modules for the integration into the bus systems as well as binary inputs and outputs which are serious in the electronic of Stratos Maxo now, allows a wide field of connectivity. Mm -hmm. Thanks to this, we are best prepared for future needs on modern building management systems. Cool. And what's about the Yunus Maxo? Is the integration possible too? Yes, it is. I brought you the new Connect module. It offers uh, standard functions for the integration into building management systems. Mm -hmm. uh, but I will come to this one uh, back later. First of all, let's compare the Jonas Maxo to the Stratos Maxo. The Jonas Maxo has a focus on as a standard high efficiency pump for the use in commercial buildings with HVAC applications. Mm -hmm. You said this is a standard pump with standard function. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Uh, standard functions means it offers three control modes, mm -hmm. for example, Delta PV or Delta PC, or even uh, three speed stages. And also, uh, additionally, if we take a look, it's a very compact pump. Mm -hmm. uh, compact pump, is it a benefit? Yes, maybe if you think as a consultant, uh, if space is limited, mm -hmm. it uh, uses less installation space and so very easy to install. Okay. What are the uh, main advantages uh, when we take a look at the Stratos Maxo for the consultants? Thanks to the new innovative uh, control functions and uh, the variable connectivity, the consultant can now design and plan heating and cooling facilities which fulfill the high demand of building standards. With its connectivity and innovation control modes, like multi-floor adaptation, dynamic adapt plus, and no flow stop is a flexible and perfect adaptation to all applications possible. I've learned that there are new control, innovative control and energy saving functions. What is so special? I will start with multi-floor adaptation. Simply spoken, multi-floor adaptation is a new energy control mode enabling the feeder pump to adjust its output to the precise demand of the connected consumer pumps. The advantage here is energy pumping saving compared to Delta PC. The next innovative energy saving control mode is Dynamic Adapt Plus. Here the Stratos Maxo can automatically adapt its output on the varying system requirements without specifying a set point. With Dynamic Adapt Plus, the customer can save up to 20% energy compared to Delta PV control. Okay. So far so good, uh, but what's about the installers? Uh, what are the main advantages for this group? That is uh, easy and quick installation, convenient commissioning 
as well as intuitive operation. The new optimized VLO connector, wired separately, plugged in and supplies the pump with electricity. Mm -hmm. The assembly of the plug, as well as the connection of the cables, can be done with our tools. With Stratos Max, we have designed a new terminal room, which is clearly structured. Thanks to this, the installation is easier than before. That's clear. Let's take a closer look. How looks like the convenient commissioning? Pressing one time the green button and the pump is running in the factory default Dynamic Adapt Plus. Okay, that's easy and clear. But uh, when I would like to change some other settings, how easy is it? It is similar easy uh, to the one-click commissioning. Here I want to take the example for doing the setting of underfloor heating. Mm -hmm. Here through the menu you could uh, set through the sub-menus, sub-application and here you can set the underfloor heating. Okay. With this we have the information in the display available and in case of need the set point can be adjusted. With this setting assistant everybody is able to optimize an installation. A short summary, the Stratos Maxo offers a numerous of improvements and is easy to handle for the installer. I can fully agree with you. Andre, what are the main advantages uh, when we talk about the Jonas Maxo? Yeah, of course. First of all, there's the easy installation. Mm -hmm. Second, it is uh, easy to reuse in case of a replacement to exchange an existing pump. Okay. And it is uh, very easy to set up by using the green knob there in front. Maybe you can take a look. Okay. It's a simple display. You can uh, set up the uh, control modes via this knob. And the display offers um, basic information like the uh, adjusted head or, for example, error codes. Mm -hmm. Easy replacement. Uh, what does it mean? Yeah, it has a very compact design. Mm -hmm. So, uh, first of all, if you want to exchange a small pump, the Yonos Maxo with this compact design fits, fits perfectly into. And uh, additionally, um, the electrical wiring is mm -hmm. also easy to do. Uh, you can um, take off the plug there, mm -hmm. do the wiring and plug it in back again. And best of all, this plug uh, could be used over all pump sizes. Okay, makes it easy for the installer during the installation and during the setting. Yes. Perfect. We talked about the pump. Mm -hmm. But what kind of product is this? Yeah, that's a connect module I mentioned before. Yeah. And that's for the integration of the Yonos Maxo into uh, building management systems. Mm -hmm. So very easy to, to do. Really? So, yes, you can try it out if you like. Yeah, of course. So, so I have to remove it? Yes, first remove it. Okay. Then plug this, plug the connect module in. Very easy. So by now, okay, additionally you have to do the wiring, but mm. now the Jonas Maxo is uh, connected to the building management system. So and This gives me which benefit? For example, uh, the monitoring mm. the building management system. It offers external on and off. Mm -hmm. It also uh, now has the functionality for double pump management. And that's it. Cool. When we take a look at the last ISH, there was one big topic, the connectivity with Bluetooth connection. Is there anything new? Yes, of course. We have expanded the connectivity to Stratos Maxo with a new smart gateway. With this, a convenient remote monitoring is possible with mobile device and tablets. With this, the operator can analyze and view current operation data as well as the operation history data. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, warnings and errors can be sent via push message to the mobile device so that the technician can take immediate actions. Mm -hmm. The Stratos Maxo is the perfect smart pump for every HVAC application and for building management systems. It offers a lot of functions and control modes. The Jonas Maxo is the perfect solution when space is limited and when you're looking for an easy and time-saving installation. Now we are at the end. Michael, Andre, thank you very much for all the information. Thanks for watching. 
If you have any question, please contact us. Or follow our YouTube channel, Video Group, and stay tuned for new videos. Take care and goodbye.